Have you ever wondered about the outcome of the world's most expensive construction mistakes? There have been reports of fatalities resulting from simple and avoidable errors. What are the details of these construction flaws? Throughout the world, we have witnessed some remarkable engineering successes. Architects and engineers have built most structures to near perfection. The necessity for perfection in their projects has elevated architects and engineers to the peak of their careers. However, mistakes do occur, as evidenced by some of the most well-known buildings and structures around us. In this video, we'll show you some of the most expensive construction mistakes in the world. Number 1. The Songsu Bridge, South Korea Part of the Songsu Bridge in Seoul fell into the Han River in 1994, killing 31 people. The bridge was to carry a weight of 36.3 tons per car, but vehicles weighing 47.3 tons also use it. The state council paid about $185,000 as compensation to the families that lost their loved ones, with $2 million for repairs. This collapse was due to the bridge taking on the extra strain, with an engineering defect revealed in some of the joints after investigation. It was also due to negligence in repairs and maintenance. Number 2. The Lotus Riverside, Shanghai Lotus Riverside is a Shanghai, China-based residential structure. In 2009, one of the 13-story buildings fell, narrowly missing nearby structures that may have triggered a domino effect. Although most people were evacuated in time, one construction worker died from the collapse. The collapse was due to faulty foundations and non-compliance to standards, with the developers accused of sacrificing quality for faster payments. The developers counted losses of up to $30 million as compensation and building costs. Number 3. Ray and Maria Stata Center Frank Gehry, an award-winning architect, built the Ray and Maria Stata Center at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It opened in 2004, and it accommodated the Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, the Department of Linguistics and philosophy and the Information and Decision Systems Laboratory. It was hailed for its logic-defying angles and walls that defied the laws of physics. Three years after the building's completion, MIT filed a negligence complaint against Gary, alleging that design errors in the $300 million structure caused structural difficulties. Drainage issues caused cracks on the walls. Icicle daggers dangled from the ceiling like lethal sash weights. Even mold developed on the brick facade of the structure. As a result, they spent more than $1.5 million on repairs. Number 4. W.E.B. Dubois Library The Music Reserve Lab and the Science and Engineering Library are two of the University of Massachusetts Amherst's three noteworthy libraries. The most well-known is the W.E.B. Dubois Library, a 26-story tower known as the tallest library in the United States. Within two months of its completion, the structure lost brick chips, a condition known as spalling. Various urban legends about the cause persisted, and the most prominent is that the architect who planned the structure didn't consider the weight of the books to be stored there. Although there was no official explanation for the spalling, around 60,000 books were removed from the building. Later, it was realized that the structure was sinking into the pond-saturated earth on which it was built. However, UMass, a guide to living on the UMass Amherst campus, believes this assertion is exaggerated and defines the building sinking as not so much. Number 5. CNA Center the CNA Center, a high-rise building in Chicago, opened its doors in 1972. Graham, Anderson, Propst, and White designed the 44-story structure. It's painted bright red, so it's conspicuous. In 1999, a large part of the window came out from the building's 29th floor and fell to the ground, killing one person. Thermal expansion was the problem, and after an $18 million settlement, the windows were replaced. To this day, the windows are examined once a month. Number 6. Hyatt Regency Kansas City. While most structural flaws are discovered over time, the Hyatt Regency in Kansas City, Missouri was not so lucky. On July 17, 1981, the fourth floor raised walkway collapsed, killing 114 people and injuring 200 more as it fell onto another walkway two levels down and subsequently into the lounge below. After opening its doors in 1980, the hotel featured a clean and beautiful design that included a multi-story atrium with three suspended walkways running through it. The walkways were supported by one and a half inch steel rods, but the actual problem was the transition from a single set of hanger rods threaded through the higher walkways to a double rod system anchored to the upper walkways, which added enormous and unnecessary stress. The design couldn't fulfill the primary safety criteria, but was overlooked during the construction phase. The collapse happened during a Friday night tea dance in the lobby, and it was described as the biggest calamity in Kansas City, Missouri's history. Number 7. The 
John Hancock Building The John Hancock Tower, known today as 200 Clarendon Street, is a 60-story skyscraper in Boston, Massachusetts designed by the architectural company I.M. Pay & Partners and completed in 1976. This skyscraper cost around $175 million to finish, and its stunning minimalistic appearance received acclaim from the architectural community, but it was famous for troubles. Initial drawings indicated that it would cast a shadow on Trinity Church, prompting public outrage and a swift reworking of the structure. Despite these efforts, the building continued to cause problems to the public. The blue reflecting glass used for the building began to fall off at various heights during construction, leading authorities to seal off the area around the skyscraper. Subsequent wind tunnel studies revealed other integrity concerns, including bending in high power gusts. However, the main problem was that the building expanded and contracted dynamically, owing to temperature changes between the interior and exterior of the the building. The reflective coating made the glass stiffer than planned, and instead of absorbing motion, it just transmitted it and shook out of place. Authors Mathis Levi and Mario Salvadori noted in their 1992 book, Why Buildings Fall, that this was due to unplanned, repetitive thermal stresses to the panels. Skyscrapers wobbled to absorb heavy wind, but the sway is usually not noticed by the building's occupants. The John Hancock Tower, on the other hand, shook so violently that it gave the higher floor's residents motion sickness. Cambridge engineer William Lemessurier eventually addressed the problem. The 10,344 window panes were replaced with single-paned, heat-treated panels, which added $5 million to the project's cost. Sheets of plywood replaced the missing panes during the period it took to detect and rectify the problem, gaining the name Plywood Palace. Number 8. Versailles Hall, Jerusalem A wedding in Israel ended in disaster when the venue's floor collapsed killing 23 guests and wounding 380 others. In this, Israel's biggest civilian catastrophe, the floor of the Versailles Wedding Hall in Jerusalem fell during Karen and Asaf Dror's wedding in 2001, killing 23 people and wounding hundreds more. The awful tragedy was recorded on video and broadcast globally, disseminating images of it across the world. People first suspected terrorism, but an inquiry swiftly debunked that suspicion. The floor was drooping before the fall, according to witnesses. The main concern was the PAL-CAL construction method, a low-cost way to produce lightweight concrete that was outlawed immediately after the tragedy. Initially, the structure intended to have two halves, with one having two floors and the other with three. Half of the third level was to be a roof, and at the time, lacked structural strength. Partitions on the lower level helped with the load-bearing difference, but the owners opted to remove them shortly before the wedding. The floor sagged instantly, but the owners dismissed it as an aesthetic rather than a structural concern concern. Following the accident, Eli Ron, the PAL-CAL Methods designer, was arrested and found guilty of 23 negligent deaths as well as a negligent assault on the remaining victims. Number 9. Walt Disney Concert Hall, Los Angeles With the Walt Disney Concert Hall, architect Frank Geary has made this list for the second time. The outside of the structure was dazzling and eye-catching. The issue is that the material that produces such a level of glare is also excellent at reflecting light, which it does when the sun shines down on it. The reflected lights work like a laser to nearby structures, scorching them up to 15 degrees. Frank Geary may have missed the point once again, but he didn't fail to capture the public's attention with his designs. Number 10. Rugyang Hotel, Pyongyang Pyongyang's massive skyscraper is an embarrassment to a country aware of its image to the world. The Rugyang Hotel has been faced with defect issues since its construction began in 1992. After three decades, the 1,083 foot tall hotel has yet to be completed. The hotel is not just a time-consuming failure of a project, but it also accounts for 2% of the country's total GDP at that time. It's reasonable to say that this hotel has been more trouble than it's worth. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more of these awesome videos.